Hey, good morning. This is Matt from Norwin Christian Church, and I want to thank you for joining me once again for a Friday morning devotion. As we reflect on this past Sunday's uh, sermon that Rob brought to us, I want to invite you to journey with me through the commandment that we looked at, which was love your neighbor as you love yourself. It's a very powerful call from Jesus that challenges us to examine how we treat those around us, especially, as Rob pointed out, the disenfranchised. The sermon uh, began with a question, have we truly loved our neighbors as ourselves? Paul instructs us in Philippians 2, 3 through 4, do nothing out of selfish ambition or vain conceit. Rather, in humility, value others above yourselves, not looking to your own interest, but each of you to the interest of others. This is a very high standard, and if we're honest, we often fall short. It's easy to prioritize our own needs and forget the call to love selflessly. Jesus demonstrated this love perfectly, though. His sacrifice on the cross was the ultimate act of selflessness and love for all of humanity. His arms were wide open, extending grace to everyone, especially those whose society often overlooked, the disenfranchised. The term disenfranchised means those who are without a vote or without a voice. In Matthew 25, 35 through 40, Jesus identifies these individuals as the hungry, thirsty, the stranger, the naked, the sick, and the imprisoned. These are the least of these, and Jesus tells us that when we serve them, we are serving him. Loving the disenfranchised requires practical, tangible actions. It's not just enough to feel compassion. We must act on it. We also know that we have to guard our hearts against complacency and apathy. Many people do not choose their difficult circumstances. They need our compassion and support. The parable of the Good Samaritan illustrates the importance of choosing to get involved, even when it's inconvenient or risky. But to love like Jesus, we need hearts transformed by his love. We need to pray for God to give us a compassionate heart, one that is moved to action when we see someone in need. So like the Good Samaritan, choose to go to those in need. Use your resources, time, and energy to make a difference. Serving others glorifies God and brings hope to those who need it most. Lastly, as Rob put it, and I think this was such a great example, let us build longer tables, not higher fences. We need to extend our love and resources to include more people in our lives. As 1 Peter 4.10 says, Each of you should use whatever gifts you have received to serve others as faithful stewards of God's grace in its various forms. So in closing, I'll offer up a challenge. And going off of what Rob said, if more people were Christians like you, would more people be Christians? I want that question to really challenge you to live out your faith in the way that draws others to Christ. Love recklessly and unconditionally, just as Jesus loves us. I want to thank you once again for joining me for a Friday morning devotion. Remember, we have church services Sunday mornings at 845 and 1030 in person and 845 via our live stream as well. For more information about Norwin Christian Church, I would encourage you to check out our website, norwinchristianchurch.com. Hope you have a great day, a great weekend, and I'm looking forward to worshiping God with you on Sundays.